Hello my friends, welcome on this video tutorial. It's Daniel here from tips to fix As you see in my table I have two MacBook Pro. This one is uh, 2017 and the new one is 2018. Today on this video tutorial I will show you how to move from your older Mac to the newer one. So the most used methods are two methods. The first one is uh, using your external hard drive and uh, transferring your Mac with Time Machine and this is the method I will choose today and the other one is using Mac Assistant but today I will show you on this video tutorial how to use your external hard drive in my case is SSD drive to move from your old Mac to the newer one so follow me on this video I will show you step by step so now I will explain you tools you need to do this process First of all, you need to have your external hard drive. I will put the link on the description if you don't have one. In the moment when you choose the external hard drive for your time machine, so if you don't want to lose anything from your older computer or your older Mac, you want to copy everything right, this external hard drive, it will be bigger than your existing one. Okay? Don't forget that detail. Another one you need to connect your your Mac with uh, this external hard drive you will need a, something like this it's a converter it's hyper driver this is what I'm using as you see on the video so this dongle it will convert your USB-C connector to USB 3.0 and what we have here you have USB-C power we have a card reader and the mini card reader also, we have HDMI connector, so it's very good stuff. I will put the link on the description. So, I will connect this on my Mac, first of all, just connect it. So, I just connect this um, converter. And after that, you need to connect with USB port, is 3.0, my SSD drive, here directly on the Mac so as you see I just connected uh, this dongle also is connected with this SSD drive as an external and now I will show you how to run time machine and copy everything from the older Mac to an external hard drive or SSD drive and uh, I will guide you right now on this process. So, first step, what do you have to do? Just go here on the search. Search for disk utility. Okay, open up disk utility. What we have to do is we have to format the hard drive, choose here on the external hard drive. Okay, click erase. Here, choose the first option and click Erase. Okay. So this is first step what you have to do. Close this now. Okay, go here at the top of the windows, search, uh, click on the Apple logo, go here on the system preferences. Here at the way bottom you see Time Machine double click on it and here we are ready for backing up the system on your external hard drive here you will select the disk click the disk you want and click use this disk okay so next option is go back here at the top bar click on this logo here this time machine and you will click backup now so i will not do it right now because i already done this previously so you just click this button here backup now and you will wait depends on your external hard drive speed okay so i will show you now next step recovering this time machine or recovering this backup to the newer mac so after two hours we copy everything we did the backup 
and here I will remove this external hard drive from the older Mac I just will remove it right now and we will plug this on the newer Mac we still need this it's very important I will paste the link for this um, dongle and you will you will buy on the Amazon and you will choose it it's very good stuff I like it put the dongle here on the new laptop oh here we are so connect your SSD drive let's call it time machine drive and also we need to have the power adapter for this process to be faster turn on your new Mac so we are on the very first beginning we need to uh, set up the welcome screen here click continue choose your keyboard choose your Wi-Fi okay data and privacy here so here on this window transfer information from transfer information to this Mac what we have to do we have to choose the first option because we already have the time machine set it up before and we have the backup on this external hard drive click continue and we will see this Mac is searching for any backup or something okay time machine backup so just choose this external hard drive click on this and click do you have to click here on your MacBook Pro um, backup so it will be with your name with your computer name you will select this and you will see it's highlighted with blue click continue and we are and the computer is preparing source so let's see now the next step okay we have another window here choose which information would you like to transfer to this Mac you will choose application documents and data computer and work and network settings so here is the moment when you choose what you want to recover or what you want to or explode on this new map I want it all so you choose all of these applications or is or if any or you leave it as it is or you can choose one of these options depends on you guys in my case I will need it all click continue and here you will set the password set the password and here it is you will see the the green light click continue and now you will see next window okay here is the the file vault it will it will ask you for disk encryption if you need to use the disk encryption you just check these two options but in my case I, yeah I will leave it as it is click OK so now you will need to sign in with your iCloud if you don't want to sign in with iCloud you just set up later but I suggest you to sign in with your iCloud set up later and I will skip this for the moment okay click continue click continue and here it is looking for application and documents transferring documents and it will take about 1 hour and 42 minutes so here we are as you see this migration is complete right now and your computer needs to be restarted so it just restart let's see okay welcome screen so it's the first configuration loading the data okay migration is complete click quit here first of all turn off your Mac 
working. Okay, so I turn off the Mac, click on the command button here, click on the air button here and hold it. And you will see the logo on the screen, the Apple logo in the screen. MacBook Pro is trying to open up on the recovery mode. Here it is. We are on the recovery mode. Choose English or your language. Click Next. After entering to recovery mode, now for recovering from your time machine hard drive, you will choose this option here, Restore from Time Machine Backups and click continue here is restore from time machine click continue choose the hard drive external hard drive so what you have to do you choose the backup time and time and date choose the the right one the one you you know it's good it's it's complete okay which i did i choose it right now click continue Click your Macintosh hard drive, select it, click restore and you will be asked for this option. The Macintosh hard drive will be erased. That's great. You click erase the hard drive. So now you will wait 20 to 30 minutes I think for this process to finish. So I'm recovering from this time machine hard drive, external hard drive is an SSD also using this dongle I will put the link on the description as I told you also here is the recovering right now and is restoring data so we see is uh, finishing the restore so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial I hope this was helpful for you and if you have any questions if you have any comment or difficulties if you face any error or something just write me here on the description see you on the next video thank you